Namaste, this is Sapna. Welcome to Be Spiced. With the end of summer and beginning of fall marks also the beginning of Indian festive season. Making sweets and desserts at home is a fun tradition of many Indian homes. I love to make sweets during this time of the year so I can share not only with my family but also friends. Coconut is a very important ingredient of many traditional Indian sweets. In India, we refer coconut as nadiyal. Nadiyal means a fruit that contains or holds water. Coconut is very important in the Indian or Hindu culture. You cannot have any traditional service or spiritual service or ritual without having coconut. Coconut comes in many forms. You can find coconut as tender coconut, which is um, green in color. You can find mature coconut, which is, has the brown, dry uh, skin on outside. And then you also have the dry coconut. You often find them in the grocery store as dried coconut flakes and they come in different sizes, fine, medium or just big flakes. Well, since we're on the topic of coconut, let's spend a minute or so and, and learn about the special qualities of coconut from an Ayurvedic perspective. Now, we all know in the recent years, coconut has gained modern popularity in the Western world and the Western diet. Coconut is wonderful. It's highly nutritious. It is very nourishing. It has a zillion medicinal properties. I understand. I get that. But one needs to be respectful of food because according to Ayurveda, every food is medicine and the same food, if it's abused, becomes poison. So coconut is great if you understand its qualities and use it the right way. So if you have seen some of my videos, you, know, you will probably be uh, familiar with the terms that I'm going to be using now. Every food that we eat has a specific taste or rasa. Coconut has a sweet taste. Every food also has a specific virya or potency. Coconut is cooling in potency, so it cools down our system internally. Also, every food has a specific vipak or the post-digestive effect and in this case, coconut is also sweet, uh, has a sweet vipak or a post-digestive effect. Coconut, uh, because of its oily and unctuous quality, is also heavy and sluggish. Coconut is fine for um, pacifying vata dosha and pitta dosha, but when taken in excess, the key word here being excess can aggravate kapha or sluggishness in our bodies. So also depends as to which kind of coconut you're using, uh, whether it's a tender coconut, mature coconut, or dry coconut. So I wanted to just talk about this real quick before I teach you a very yummy recipe because we got to respect our food so that the food can respect us back. So moving on, I want to now talk to you and show you my most favorite recipe is actually a coconut treat the keyword again here being treat that i prepare on a very auspicious occasion of ganesha chaturthi ganesha or the elephant god is my most favorite lord of the lord um, he is the most popular hindu god and he we celebrate him for 11 days um, in the month or either at the end of august or early part of september depending on the lunar calendar and on day one of this festival i prepare coconut barfi barfi are simply squares it's very easy recipe and I would love for you to watch this video and learn so you can not only prepare this for Indian festivals but for any festivities. Use this recipe and enjoy.
and yummy coconut barfi is not just a favorite of, of Lord Ganesha, but it is also a favorite of all kids and adults. So I hope you will uh, try this recipe for your festivals, for your holidays, for your parties, and enjoy with your family and friends. If you like this recipe, give us your thumbs up and stay connected with me on my channel, Be Spiced, and I will see you soon. Namaste.